Hello and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast. My name is Shadi and here with Burris. Yes, indeed. We're ready for action in a sexual and powerful method. Ready for action with no delay at all between yeah. referencing his name and saying hello. Yeah. We're, we're, I'm actually on the moon and he's uh, in Mars, so yeah, the delay is actually uh, about 45 and a half seconds. Yeah, that was actually impressive reaction time. What a fucking Thank idiot. You. What have you been playing this week? I've been playing Overwatch. Is that it? Oh, no, wait. I've been playing Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic mm. on my iPhone. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. I've been it's playing the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. Saints Row 3, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and CSGO, mostly. Alright, here, let's This, this, this looks like a quest. So this is, well, just like a standard ARPG. Oh, wow, my game sound is way Yeah, pretty much. Save the horse. No, fuck the horse. We're gonna make some centaurs. The horse has been saved. I'm gonna pick up that loot. Put it that you saved my horse. Thank you. But I'm not the only one in trouble. So, are we gonna talk about anything, or are we just gonna play yes. the game? We are. We are gonna talk about things and play the game. Come this way. So, I, I wanted to this. bring up a, a thing called make. Video games great again. Okay. It's this whole idea. How do we discuss? How do we how do we make games better? The, like simple things that it's like why didn't the developer do this in the first place? Okay. And the first game I'd like to discuss is Star Wars Battlefront, the new one. Sure. So my biggest issue with uh with Star Wars Battlefront, the new one, is that it sucks. It's a terrible fucking game. Yep. Agreed. No, I don't... <laughs> I don't know if, uh... If you recall... Um... But... When the game... Was new, or right before it came out, before the beta came out... Mm -hmm. Um... You got the, the idea that this game is going to be Battlefield... With Star Wars skin on it. And people were saying it like it would be a bad thing. I mean, that, that was pretty much what it was. No, 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 no. It was much worse. It was much, much worse. I mean, it was um, pretty much Battlefield with a Star Wars skin. It was pretty much Battlefield with an RNG system that made it completely and utterly uh, horrible. As well as more shitty systems. What are these? I got some health pots. How do we pick things up? I, I don't, don't actually know. know. But anyway, it fucking sucks. Yeah, it's, everyone it's agrees not good. on that. I don't know. We're definitely supposed to open these things up. Oh, well, fuck. Okay, did you have a point other than? Yes. Just it's so. Sunk. I feel like if that game may have came out um, just strictly being exactly what people thought it was going to be, which is Battlefield. I'm about to die from this up or over here. Anyway. Very low health knowledge. Um, if he would have, or if Dice would have actually just made that game, like just taken no effort at all, like put skins, and literally just release it as is, I think it would have been a much better game. That's that's my main concern. Is that why did they put all this effort into making it quote quote unquote different when the game actually just sucks? At bag of dicks mm -hmm. and I, I know you you have a very interesting uh, relationship with Star Wars Battlefront and uh, I, I know you've said, said so before on this podcast but I just thought it was, it was worth you talking about again I've said so before on this podcast probably 6 of the 12 episodes at this point it's okay <laughs> it's a great story how did you learn to pick things up <laughs> what, what's the button tell me no, seriously, tell me. Is it just right click or no, something? No, it's A. Okay, A. That's hey, I, I have a great question. How what? do we make this game great again? How do we make this game great again? I think it yeah. already had a remastered. I think it's pretty much as great as it can be. Yeah, because right? so far this is uh, this is shit. It's not a great game, but it's not a bad game. It's not, it's not terrible. When you actually think about when this game actually came out, what was it, 2000? 
three years? No, I mean, I have played a lot of ARPGs like this, and, you know, I get my enjoyment out of them for the most part, but, like, no. not really the issue, going I wouldn't on. fight that guy right away. Oh, fuck him. Anyway, the issue I have with this game right now is I don't understand why, but, but like, I've played, I've played this game before, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember when you hit people, it actually made a sound. Now, maybe I turned that down. I'm yeah, sure I don't hear any it. sounds either. Yeah, like, I'm not hearing any sound from when I'm hitting people. I think it's because it's a remastered edition, and the remastered edition fucking sucks. I know that happens every once in a while. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. It's strange. But I know it did used to have actual sound. Anyway, what was your point with this topic before I just called this game shit? Anyway. The point you, is, you take how everything? do you make... I don't even know how to take things, man. I still cannot take say. I managed you to pick up potions, but I can't pick I up, can't, like, items. I can't pick up anything with it. That's weird. Anyway, um, what, was your, uh, what was your point? So my point is, uh, there's just so many opportunities for these games to just literally be lazy, and they'll turn out better than they did in the final opportunity. In their final, uh, you know, form, I suppose you could say. Mm hmm Oh, here we go. I'm adding a... what do you call it? I got Ice Shard, which is projects a deadly shard of ice at the target, inflicting cold damage and temporarily slowing. And Storm Nimbus. When active, the player is imbued with the power of the storm, causing their attacks to strike cold and lightning damage. So I have those abilities somewhere. I think if I just hit all the buttons, eventually, I'll figure out how to play this game. Sure. I think that's probably how it works. Yeah. Except not really. So if you hit uh, Ash, that's the yeah, skill. Yeah, I did that already. So you can, did you uh, put the skills on your... I'm working on that right now. It's currently what I'm uh, having an issue with. Anyway, did you... Uh... Oh, there we go. Press Z. Aha! Okay, that... I think I'm picking things up. Did I pick things up? Yes. I did. And we Hooray. can wield none of them. <laughs> I can wield dick. We basically suck. That's what the game's trying to say. It's like, you suck dick. I just want to know how to Hooray. fucking hotkey skills. I think I can use this tool. Oh, there we go. Right-click the, so. the skill slot. Anyway, are we gonna fucking talk about anything? Are we gonna, like, just... Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. So we're basically ready to go. I can't believe we actually just, like, randomly hit people until... Uh, <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous if you actually think about it. Okay, so anyway. Do you have anything to talk about? Sure, since apparently you wanted to bring up a topic and then not talk about it. Yeah, we'll bring it up later. <laughs> okay. Um... So, I, I mostly just have, like, bits of conversation with other people that I'm rehashing yeah. with you now. Um, but, you know, that's fine. So, one thing that, that sort of came up was, what was the nicest compliment you've ever received? Uh, it's so difficult, because, honestly, I get a compliment compliment and I just feel completely undeserving of it and I kind of like forget what the compliment is. Yeah, but what's one like you valued, like you enjoyed? I guess that like I was destined for greatness or some shit that like a teacher once told me. Mm. And they, they legitimately meant it, which was nice but I was like, okay. Uh, mine's similar and it's also from a teacher. Mine is a uh... It, uh, we went back and we revisited a teacher. Uh, he was my 7th and 8th grade science teacher. Probably, I mean, not probably. He was my favorite teacher to date out of any teacher I've had. And uh, so we're going back to see him. It's probably my sophomore year. Well, summer after my sophomore year. And we're all... Uh, we're all standing there and he's talking to us about what we're going to do. And, like, he's retiring, so he's asking, like, you know, about our plans and stuff like that. And he was like, so Brendan, do you know, like, what college you want to go to and what your 
plan is. And I don't know if you know this about me. I picked my college May of my senior year and my major on orientation day. So naturally, yeah, I had no fucking clue <laughs> what I was doing. And I told him, I was like, no, I really, uh, really don't know what I'm doing. And it's like, that's all right. You know, I, I think when you find what you want to do, you'll just take off. That was nice to hear from a teacher, because, like, you know, yeah. your teachers believe in you, but it's sort of the general, like, I believe in all my students. And to hear yeah. more of, like, a personal element of that was like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I had I had a... She was she was new, and you could definitely tell she hated most of her students. Mm. Uh, but she was a marketing teacher. And you could tell when she, like, was... someone Did someone else join? There are two green dots. Anyway, she got a lot of shit. Like, I, I don't think she was new a teacher or a teaching and, like, knew what the fuck she was doing. But I, like, kind of was just nice to her. Mm. Even though everyone was kind of nice to her. I don't know. But she, for whatever reason, it, I was in DECA. Do you know what DECA is? It's I like, have no idea what DECA is. Um, it's basically the easiest way to describe it. I think we have to go back through the... The easiest way to describe it, it's like young, like, high school business people who will eventually become mm, businessmen, okay. etc. Going out there until next time. So, she Hello, randomly chose me to do, like, one of the most important, um, like, roles for this business thing, which is, like, the... I don't even remember what you would consider. It's, like, the project... Mm. Uh, design or something like that along those lines um, and she was like no you're the best suited for it like everyone else sucks mm. and I'm like okay but that's more of like everyone else sucks you know Yeah. Uh, I've gotten okay so this is a long story I, I was in a I was in this weird semi relationship kind mm. of thing with this uh, this roommate of mine and she had told me uh, in this kind of sly way. I realized it, but I was kind of freaked out. Uh, we just watched some, I don't know, consider it, some like comedy where he's like, there are three types of people who, uh, who exist. Oh my God, I'm going to kill. Anyway, there are three types of people who exist. There's the type of people who when they drink, you hate them. There's the type of people who when you when they drink you love them and there's the type of people who just laugh right and mm. i was like okay well that's whatever we'd watched it together and it was like later on that night um again nothing ever came of this we never did anything um but she looked at me like hey, okay a little more so she she turned to me and she said hey you know that comedy we watched the other day or however long ago it was um so there's those three type of people and i just wanted to say like your type of person when you're drunk you're the i love you type of person and i'm like oh really and she's like no no no, i love you and i was like oh like <laughs> like it she just looked at me like very seriously and was like no i love you mm -hmm. and i was like oh shit and I don't know, like, I was so stunned because uh, when we first kind of came to this apartment, because it was by accident that we even lived together, um, we were kind of flirting mm -hmm. a little bit. And she had said, basically at one point when I was kind of like overtly flirting, she was like, hey, just so you know, I have no interest in you, like, at all. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Like, I'm, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal to me. Like, if, I, if anything, I was more like, this is really weird that you have just said this, you know. Like, because we, again, it wasn't like a for sure thing. We were literally just flirting. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, she's just like, by the way, uh, it's never going to be a thing. And I'm like, what, or, what the fuck are you talking about? Kind of like, yeah. all right cool 
And then six months later, she was saying this. And I was, for some reason, I don't know if I'm like a vengeful soul or what, but I was very much like, uh, you had just told me like a couple months ago that it was never going to be a thing, you know, like, but I didn't say that. Yeah. And then I was just like, I'm going to go to bed now. So I always have like a way of like self-defeat. I don't know if, if you have the same kind of, uh, no, my self-esteem is remarkably like high. Right now. <laughs> that was that was sarcasm. I feel like it should be pretty high. I mean, you're doing pretty well for yourself. Do you feel like that <laughs> for myself? God damn it. What? <laughs> Did I? Okay, let's fucking ignore everything that we were talking about. Let's talk about that. What? The You're doing pretty well for yourself. That's not a compliment. Okay, I think you... You misinterpret it's not for yourself, like for you. You know, like you're doing good for you. <laughs> but that's literally what you say. It's, no, no, no. It, just for yourself. Like, one, the royal yourself. The royal it's not, yourself. It's not meant to be. Uh, it's not meant to be like, well, you're doing pretty good for you. That it's is like, what no, it is. That, that is what that phrase is. That's what I that mean, phrase means. Do you means. really think, like, I don't know, man. I, I disagree. Uh, no, I don't think that's how you meant it. But the reason I like, like was like hold the fucking phone is because Jonathan told me the other day he was like, or he was like a month back or whatever. I was streaming and playing with Jonathan, and uh, he was like, hey, you know, you actually came up with the family the other day in California, and I was like, oh really? He's like, no, yeah. They're like, I heard, uh, yeah, they're, they're like, we heard Brendan got a new job and all that, and like. And Jonathan's like, yeah, yeah, he's, you know, programming, lives in Phoenix now, and all that. And they're like, oh, he's doing really well for himself. I'm like, those motherfuckers. Like, the first time I mean, probably, probably ever that I come up in conversation. Anything of you. Hold on, hold on. Let's just, let's just be honest here. Uh, by the way, you're speaking in game for some odd reason. Speaking um, in game? What the fuck? Yeah, when you're getting loud, you're like, I can hear an echo. I don't know uh, if it's on your end or what. But anyway. Um, I didn't even know that I had a mic so, set up. <laughs> For you, you gotta be honest. The interaction you've had with your cousins, they probably weren't like he's a super genius. Oh, it was not the cousins. It was the the adults, I believe. Well, I guess yeah, I guess the yeah same. the cousins and then Russ. They are, they and, are cousins uh, of yours. Whatever other ones. But I mean, Russ so again, was one of them. Well, again, how much did you actually interact with Russ? <laughs> as little as possible. I know, right? <laughs> so when. When you really think about it, it's fuck them. Who? What? What do you care? What? Like? What it's do you just give a such fuck? a fucked thing to say. Like, like I get right. it, but to you, say right, it to well, someone. Just put it this way, okay? You're you have a new job. You're making ninety thousand dollars. You are how mm -hmm. old? Tell, tell them how old you are. I'm twenty one. Okay. Um. Do you know what the average millennial wage is? I'll, uh, no, I, I acknowledge that I, in reality I am doing very well for myself. Yeah. However, hold on, hold on. So let me put this into perspective for you. My brother, mm. uh, my brother is addicted to heroin. Mm. He's holding a job at Ruby Tuesdays right now. Mm -hmm. He's doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, <laughs> working part time at Ruby Tuesdays. But it's not like a thing that you say. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's doing really well is a compliment. He's doing really well for himself means there are limitations that you thought was possible for that person. Yeah, I mean, there's limitations you think that are possible for everyone. Yeah, but, like, why can't you just be like, hell yeah. Like, because... even if I was, like, a fucking astronaut and I was going to be the first person to colonize Mars, he's doing pretty well for himself would still be an insult. I mean, it's I, again, I don't think it's really an insult. I think you're kind of overthinking it. I don't think it's and an the other insult thing is, you. I don't think most people really give a fuck about like how other people are doing. So just the fact that they even took the time to think about you, that's pretty nice. It would be nice if it didn't happen, like, <laughs> and given the circumstances. Like, if I just, like, if they were just like, oh, you know, I wonder how Brendan's doing, because we're family, not like, Brendan has some modicum of success. He is now worthy of conversation. 
I mean, I don't think they've had conversations about me, so there's that. I know, that's that's my point. It's like, they don't talk about us ever, and the first time I come up is because... Yeah, but if someone's just telling you you're doing pretty well for yourself, it's not just like a dig, unless you're fucking doing terrible. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, it's still, like, it's pretty backhanded. No, it's not a dig, unless you're just, like, it's fucking de doing terrible. It's definitely like, a If I got fired thing. and you were like, you're doing pretty well for yourself, <laughs> I'd be like, alright, motherfucker. <laughs> no. If you ever get fired, I, I that's, get that's fired. my fucking know. game plan now. If you roll up and yeah, you tell me you're might, fire and be like, doing pretty well for yourself, honestly, buddy. Honestly, honestly, my, uh, they, they basically did a whole, like, uh, what do you call it, shift. Like, we have new directors and stuff, and mm -hmm. all the old ones went to different properties and stuff, which is fine, except the new director has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah. And I just told it to his fucking face. Yeah, that's not something you want to do. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> listen. We have seven people here. Why do you keep taking everything, dude? You I'm not taking everything. There's so much shit on the ground still. Yeah, I want some armor. You have all the armor. There's still armor out back there. Leather harness is armor. So anyway, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. All right, so anyway. What I'm seeing, right? Yeah. Uh, is this dude comes in, and I'm telling him, like, we have, like, no one's ordering parts, and nothing's getting done, uh... The manager right now is trying to hire in people at eighteen dollars who previously uh, fucking were making like twenty five and are still technically making twenty five. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, this is terrible. He's a retard. You need to fucking tell him off, and you need to get some people in here who are like just out of college, mm -hmm. because that's who's going to be interested in eighteen dollars an hour, not someone who's retiring. Like they're always going to be pessimistic and be like, I'm not making enough money. Yeah. If you get someone right out of college making 18, like if you just like someone headhunted you and was like, Hey, you want to make 18 when you were working a uh, family video? You'd probably be like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, depending on the job, but yeah. No, if it was like a technical job. Yeah. You'd be like, hell yeah. Yeah. That absolutely. Great. <laughs> so that's what I was saying. And then he's like, uh, Hey, aren't these aren't these specific games supposed to have? Uh, aren't they supposed to be lit up? And I'm like, yeah, we don't have anyone to order them. And he's like, you should probably get on that. And I'm like, I'm a fucking lead technician. I don't order parts. Like, I can ask people to order parts, but that's the manager job again. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, I have a pouch in here. Go ahead. But yeah. The dudes, I don't know. It, it's weird being in the position I'm in because I get treated like I'm a supervisor half the time, and the other half the time I get treated like I make like probably nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's like this weird in between where I'm like, no, like, I don't know. They think I make fucking dick, is what I think is happening. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I, I don't make as much as Brendan, but I make a pretty good amount. Yeah. Like, I, I live quite comfortably. Mm -hmm. But no. It's weird, man. The casino life is fucked up because everyone's super, like, about money. Well. Oh, God. are you? How are you alive? Are you just eating? No, I have a... Uh, a life drain spell. Oh, you want to be careful on that. Don't don't max that out too much. The only time I ever played this game and got pretty far into it, uh, once I got to the skeletons. Skeletons. Um, when you life drain them, it actually heals them. So. I mean, it's basically in that passing. makes sense. Yeah, it's it made literally shut down my entire uh, my entire plan. I need to stop for a second. Let's see. I'm just gonna leave all the health potions on the ground for you, since I can just heal. So, That's sort of the smells. the converse of uh, that. This is more like a conversation thing, not really a question. But you can turn mm -hmm. it into a question if you have a related story. But today, I uh, so I have that group chat with people from high school. Mm -hmm. And today I was like, 
I don't really know if I want to go to work tomorrow. But I, I can't decide because, you know, there are, there are arguments for each side. And uh, I was like, or I could just get fucked up tonight and make the decision for myself. And just as a joke, because I had no intention of drinking tonight. But um, <clears throat> somebody came in a chat who hasn't been terribly active in the chat lately. And uh, it's actually, I should take a step back. One of the girls in the chat took my name and my profile picture just to fuck with people because then nobody can tell when it's me or her. So he joins the chat and sees that get fucked up comment. And he's like, just to be clear, that was Julia Brendan, not Brendan Brendan, right? Or have I missed that much? And I was like, no, that was me. Just as a joke, because he wouldn't be able to tell. But then I was like, yeah, no, that's Brendan. And uh, he was like, honestly, that's it's kind of disappointing. That doesn't really fit the image of Brendan I had in my head. And, like, one part of me was, like, it's a little fucked up. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, buddy. And, like, the other part was, like, it, just that, that level of disappointment for someone was kind of, like, shit. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely hear you through the game. But, um, <laughs> on that note, I would say, honestly, fuck anyone who has any conceptions of you. Fuck them in the ass. Because those are the same people who are, like, limiting you. You know what I mean? I mean, he's actually a good friend. Yeah, but still, they're, even if they don't realize it, they're the same people who are limiting you. I mean, it, it, like, it doesn't affect anything. I'm still going to do as I, I mean, please. sometimes it's good to have some limitations. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to get too fucked up all the time, but... Oh, shit. What? This fucking goat sucker, dude. Holy shit. I'm trying to kill the other beast. There, I got him. Dude, it's like invincible. Yeah, I think it's because it's a goat sucker. Dude, oh god, I'm it's, gonna die. It's goat sucking me. It's sucking your goat. You're gonna die? Yes. It's hmm, interesting. Well, that didn't heal me for anything. Yeah, it must be because it's like a ghost. Maybe it actually is a ghost sucker. Oh, it's a goat sucker. Could that be? Oh, I need to go. Are there any of these little bastards alive? Yes, great. Give me HP, please. Oh, I projected on this. Ah, I killed him. I killed him. I leveled up, I need to do the spell book shit. Oh look, a super enemy. What is it? But uh, yeah, so I guess I was just kind of wondering if there was a... a similar situation that happened for you. Um, I would say, I, I will give this much, right? It's nice not having any expectations on me whatsoever. <laughs> And what I mean by that is, when I was a kid, people literally, even though, like, alright, my reading level was, like, you know, 12th grade when I was probably in first or second grade. Other than that, like, I, I think there wasn't you're a lot of people that. were, like, no, that literally was what it was. I was, mm. like, above, my brother would be like, hey, how do I spell this? And he was, I think, in sixth grade when I was in That first, doesn't which, give you a 12th grade reading level. <laughs> I know, no, no, it really was. I mean, I haven't read a book in forever how long but mainly because i was like right, first to 12th is impossibly high it's impossibly high but it is doable i'm telling you i don't so anyway, think other that's than my accurate reading level, other than my reading level uh there wasn't any like indication of just like wow he's great mostly because i was just the worst student ever and teachers hated me <laughs> mm -hmm. so i mean there was that like i would disrupt the class i I honestly think that's mostly to do with the fact that there wasn't really a a smart people's class for me to join uh, at in my particular school at the time. So everything I knew everything uh, up until about fifth grade. I from first grade to fifth grade I, I learned nothing other than some history facts. It was mainly nothing, and then I only went on the only time when I really actually learned anything was on the computer. So that was for like 
four He's years, and four years of not learning anything, uh, it kind of fucks you up where it, it, it takes a lot to actually get to the point where you're like, I'm going to try again. So when you don't try for, you know, four years, and then you're like, oh shit, I actually don't know how to do division, which was the first thing that I was like, holy fuck. It, which is funny, but at the time I was like, how the fuck do I do this? You know? Mm -hmm. I, I could do it in my mind, but I couldn't use that as an excuse. I had to actually write it out. And I wasn't, I've never paid attention in class prior to this, so I all of a sudden needed to be like, well, now I need to actually fucking try. And just getting back into like the swing of trying again, it takes a lot out of you. I don't know if you've ever had anything similar happen to you where you just like didn't do something for like six years and then you go to do it again and you're like, oh fuck. Oh, this is where you suck. That's what you think. Well, your thing doesn't work here. Oh. That's all I know. I died. Hooray. Yeah, might want to focus on another spell. I have, uh, this is still level one. There you are. So anyway. I've, I've had a few things like in sports, like playing football, but I played against people who were terrible, so it was fine. Yeah. Like, I, I could tell, like, oh, wow, I definitely can't do this ever again. Like, when I was, I was like, heaving and hoeing, it was probably, I was probably 20. And I did good, but again, it was with people who had no idea what, like, how to play football. Holy shit. Thing Holy shit, hard. he hit for like 300. I got my ass reamed in that motherfucker. But yeah, no, I never really had that experience. <laughs> Any experience like that? You know? What do you mean? Any experience like that? I mean, I never had, yeah, that experience. I never, that wasn't yeah. the case with me. Yeah, it's... It's definitely something that I was like, if I were younger me, I'd be like, probably go up a year or something, I don't know. But I'm telling you, I was so focused on, like, I don't know, I was more focused on making people laugh when I was like, third and fourth grade. I, I never once did any studying, never any work whatsoever. No homework, nothing. I never had to. So I, I feel like that's a pretty average trap. Like that that actually happens a lot. I mean, I didn't I didn't study or do homework either. No, no, no. But then you get to the point where you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, like, I was All just the like... other kids were always stressing about it, and then you get to a point where you're like, oh, shit, I really haven't learned anything in years. Like... Yeah, I was just like, I guess I'll fail. Yeah, but I specifically remember you having to study. My te my uh, my parents, as much as they tried, I was so stubborn. I, I would say, now you're probably stub more stubborn than me. Hold on, wait, what are you saying time. you specifically remember me having to study? You and I never yeah. talked about school. <laughs> no, 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 your mom, like, yelling at you. Yeah, that doesn't mean I did it. <laughs> no, I never did it. My, my parents so... yelled at me for a lot of things. <laughs> doesn't mean I did them. But yeah, I don't know, man. A helm. But yeah, it. I don't know. Shit sucked uh, up until middle school. For me, anyway. And then things got a lot better. I, don't know. I just retreated from reality yeah. into books. Yeah. I didn't do books, I did other things. I mean, I did both, but... In school, I did books. Yeah, I just, uh, I was high on ADD medication. So what I ended up doing, uh, was normally, like, making languages up. Like, I'm just gonna make a language up, it's fun. Or, like, I'm gonna make up a way to compress, like, an entire page of whatever the hell into, like, maybe, uh... I don't know, like a line of words, or maybe like th 
three words. Just because I'm bored. Mm -hmm. And I'd have like six sheets of paper that would be like different symbols. <laughs> like all different random symbols that I just like came up with. Because obviously if you're going to press them down, you need more symbols. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to change. So anyway, I had like okay, three words and I'm literally saying like an entire like three pages of I look worried. It's because if I and that was my thing that I did in English class in like sixth grade. But I don't know how good your memory like my memory when I was much younger was perfect. Like I remember everything when I was like five or six. But my memory of that those years from like second or third grade to like sixth are just completely and utterly lost upon me. Uh, my memory's pretty good. I don't remember like information that I see as trivial very well, so like yeah. conversations are often lost on me. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, like a lot of interactions with people if they they had no significance, you know. So people will bring up things like, do you remember the time, like, this, this, or we talked about this? I'll be like, <laughs> no. No, I don't. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to remember, dude, my memory was, I know your memory was fucking amazing, too. I don't know if it's any better. <laughs> Probably worse. It's just age, right? Yeah, it's still pretty uh, good. Yeah, when I was your age, it was still pretty good. It goes downhill pretty quick. I mean, it's not, like, terrible. You just have to, like, make reminders for yourself. But my memory has definitely started to wane. Not to the point where it's like, holy shit, this is bad, but pretty bad. Like, worse than I'd want it to be. Mm. I need to do some, like, train your brain exercises or something, man. I'm gonna be like a retard. It's only, you know. I'm not really sure that's how that works. I think it is. Mm, I don't know. I mean, it could be. I'm not a doctor. Oh, I'm, I'm you could snared. You Dr. Pepper, right? Oh, you died. Oh, uh, yeah, you I was died. snared. I couldn't move. It's unfortunate. Oh, I'm also going to die. It's fine. Oh, I have survived. Hooray. I quite interestingly... I feel made plans to drink with some people from high school that I wasn't immensely close with. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I do that. I've done that before. Uh, it's always been kind of awkward. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I feel I was close enough with them that it won't be awkward, but like, most of our conversations were just school related. We talked a yeah. lot, but not really anything of substance. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah. So, here's the thing, right? Um. I actually enjoy drinking with like uh, coworkers now very much, and as a <laughs> as someone who at one point was like, "Get the fuck away from me! I don't hang out with anyone from work." Mm. I've done like a complete one anywhere, and I'm like, "Let's go! Let's hang out after work." I definitely would not drink with anyone from my work. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> very little in common with them. How do you know though? How do you really know? Uh, well, because I've talked to them. Yeah, but is there, like, do you really need anything to be super in common? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to have a conversation with them. Like, I can have a conversation with, god damn, anyone, you know? Yeah, but I'd want it to be a conversation that doesn't fucking suck. What do you mean, yeah, that's the, that's another extremely simple thing that you gotta do. Listen, this is all you gotta do. Go up to them, say some really outlandish shit, and they'll just be like, oh, I didn't think you were that type of person. No, like, a lot of people, a lot of people who don't know me see me as, like, this very serious, serious guy. I don't know if it's just my face, but then when I start to talk, people are like, oh, he's like that. <laughs> like, he doesn't give a fuck. I love up. As did I. You, you are now doing two bosses at once. We are dead. What do you mean we're doing two bosses at once? 
We're doing two boss swarms. That lich is mine, dude. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, why don't you get this fuck off me? I'm working on it. What the fuck do you think Jesus I'm doing? Jesus Christ, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I have 50 health. I'm quit being a little bitch. I did he it. It hurts, man. I'm the best. I'm a true hero. A savior of my kind. So, that's actually one of the worst things about this game is that, depending on how your skill tree goes, um, you're just fucking terrible. Well, that's why I only put one point into life drain, and then I just focused on leveling up my tree. Yeah. So that I could get the Mac Daddy Lich. I don't see where you are. At all. Me neither. Okay. So anyway... Back to make video games great. Sure. Let's, let's do that. Here's the thing, right? World of Warcraft used to be the greatest game ever. Oh, my. But anyway, I used to love that fucking game. And strangely enough, when I, when I tell people how I feel about World of Warcraft, they're, they're confused. Because to me, what made World of Warcraft a bad game over time was actually were actually improvements to the game. So like for example flying. Mm -hmm. I feel like flying ruined that game. People are like, no man, if I couldn't fly I couldn't get play I couldn't go to places fast enough, etc. To me I'm like, fuck you. Like the whole thing with World of Warcraft is it, it took a long time just to go places. Like, it was a journey. Mm. And you ran into people who would be willing to help you potentially or are willing to harm you. It's just random. So, you had that kind of, almost like a mi like Minecraft ended up doing on, like, some, you know, public servers, where it was like, oh god, this guy's killing me, or oh god, this, you know, it would be completely random. Um, but you still had the actual questing experience there. And as time went on, I feel like it all kind of just became UI. So over time, everything got stripped away except for user interfaces. So like, you'd have more and more user interfaces for teleportation and all this other shit, and it just became bullshit. Like, why'd they do this? I don't know. But yeah. If they really wanted to fix World of Warcraft, I think they'd have to get rid of a lot of features. They'd probably lose like five million subs. Yeah. Know, to make it to make it playable for me again. <clears throat> and it's like unfortunate, but it's just fuck. That's just how it is now. I don't know that they could do anything to make it truly playable for me. I mean, you Same. never really were were there during the, the heyday I Yeah. Thought. I just think especially at this point I'm so yeah, far you, beyond you my MMO days, it. like So the weird thing is, oh shit, I'm gonna die. But anyway, the, the weird thing for most of, like as you get older, I, I found, except for I would say the 16-bit era, era is like the one huge exception to that rule because those games are fucking classic as well as 8-bit to an extent. But anyway, um, 3D games don't age very well at all. Mm, depends they on the just game. Don't. Very rarely. Very, very rarely. I still think Mist has aged exceptionally well, but it's, you know... It's not 3D. It's a, just 2D pictures. They're 3D looking. Mm, there's 3D motion. Not really. No, there's when you switch scenes. Mm, kind of, but not... Like, it, it's not what I would consider true 3D. It's kind of like considering... Um, like Night Trap 3D. What? Because there are 3D motions. It's like considering what 3D? Night Trap. I don't know what the fuck that is. Terrible game where you, uh, you watch, like, a sleepover, like, get raped or some crazy, horrible shit. No, I have no idea. Yeah, it sucks. But anyway, you could consider that 3D, but it, again, it's, it's aged terribly. It's like an FMV slash adventure point and click game. I don't know, I stylized like, games tend to age quite well. But that's 
completely depending on what you consider stylized. So let's take a, I'm not thinking of Shogun. What am I thinking of? That that one Asian game, Asian game, uh, the one ninja game for NES. I believe it was also on uh, like the Sega Master System, etc. The it's by Sega. No, no. Um, anyway, it it doesn't have very, it the, there's almost no style, um, and yet that game is still played today quite a bit. So I wouldn't I I'd say. You know, having a style in your game is just something that needs to happen. Because if you don't, it's not at all. Like Spyro, technically, doesn't really have a style. As, as it has color palette. That's that's, that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. Not not having a style, but being stylized, being unique in its own way. So like people describe like Journey as stylized because it's very unique in its artistic style. That makes yeah, sense. I mean, like the the game's limited in a way that actually helps broaden its scope. I'm talking strictly graphically, though. Yeah, I'm talking more than that. But at the same time, I'm I'm talking 3D, like 3D games, like no, try to play. Understand. Honestly. Okay, so Goldeneye, Goldeneye, the N64. Terrible. Yeah, it looks really bad. Terrible. It's like anyone who. If you pick that game up and you are actually consider yourself a video game player, it's it's almost unplayable at this point. It's just an unfortunate thing, and I mean that's a pretty that was considered pretty stylized for its time, but the gameplay has just aged. And I think the thing about two D side scrollers is they really how can you age a two D side scroller as far as uh, just like gameplay? I think the Final Fantasy games do a very good job of. Living yeah, past their I, expiration date. Um, I think, again, it comes down to have you played those games or that type of game uh, during that that time period. Like that no, I first played. Years. I played my first Final Fantasy, and it was ten, two years ago. Yeah, ten. I think is the only one where graphically it still stands up. If you look at any below ten, I don't know. Like, did you ever play nine, seven? No. Eight? No. Oh god. Like, I've played ten, 10 and fifteen. Okay. Ten ten you can still play. Did you play the uh the new one? The new ten? Uh like the H E remake? Yeah. 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 Mm, try playing I mean I've I've played both. I thought you were asking if I had played that the one as well. The original ten is still playable. I'm not I'm not trying to knock that, but I'm just saying seven and eight look really, really, really rough. Really rough. And that's actually part of the reason why they've decided to, uh, to, you know, work on a seven remake. And that's again, seven is like download it on PSN, whatever you want to do. You'll be like, God damn! And that's the one most people talk about. That's the one you know, most Final Fantasy fans will say is their favorite. Yeah. Um, but if you try to get like a new player in with seven, it's, it's not going to happen. Ten is amazing. I, I really had a lot of fun just playing the uh, the sports ball. Blitz ball. Ten. Yeah, blitz ball. Yeah, blitz a ball is cool. I I only got to a certain point in that game before my save just fucking died, and I didn't have another save. Mm -hmm. And I was forced to quit. It was very sad. It was like the I forget if it was the second or third time you fought the alien thing again. Holy shit. Talking about Sin? Or... Yeah, Sin. I don't remember specifically when it was, but it's like... I think it's when the, the guy with one arm dies, but I could be wrong. Actually, Sin's not an alien. I know what he is, but... I mean, even before you know what he is, he's not an alien. Yeah, but alien to you. Technically an alien. Uh, not, not like a space alien, but an alien. No, it's not an alien. I mean... You're actually very familiar with uh, what creates him. Yeah. Considering Luna's doing it the whole fucking game. But anyway... It's been a long time since I've played that game, so I'm not going to be able to be like, this is that. But I, I got pretty far into it, and then it was all ruined. And I was very sad. Because I was having a lot of fun with it. 
And I'm one of those guys that, like, if I lose more than, like, three hours on a game, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And that particular one, I think this, the only other save I had was, like, on the beach in the starting level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a long game, too. And I had unlocked, like, three titans at that point or whatever the fuck they're called. The summons? Yeah. Aeons, I think. It was very sad. Now, I've tried playing 8. Mm. I think I have 8 or 9 uh, for PSN. And, dude, it's, it's really rough. It's, it's unfortunately rough. Like, I don't think those games are playable anymore, unfortunately. PS1 and 64 games, very few of them are still playable um, in their original form. I don't know. Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, very Mario much you could sell. Mario 64 is playable, however... Um, Graphically, the original, and that's the thing most people forget about, is that they're playing uh, a modified version somehow. So if you're playing on the 3DS, it's a modified version. You're no, the I, DS, I'm talking. I have it on 64. It's the only place I've played yeah. it. Um, I don't know. Do you have an expansion pack? Nope. No. So I mean, it's one of the only few games where that's true. Any game that tried to do like overtly ambitious things. I feel like just mm -mm. perfect dark still looks okay, I guess. But that's because you had that expansion pack. I don't think I ever played that on the N64. It it looked like a cross between uh, an N64 and a Dreamcast game, which for the time is a really good thing. It's amazing. But that was like the big thing with the N64. Like obviously it didn't have a CD drive, but it also only had like want to say a very 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 limited amount of uh of theory mm. so it it technically the actual processor in the n64 was like five times better than the playstation ones maybe even more you know that little effect during uh during mario 64 where you uh where you have that what do you call that where you turn metal yeah metal mario so that effect was actually brand new. People don't remember that that effect had never been done before in a game, before Metal Mario. It could not be replicated in any PlayStation game at all because it's just a thing that's built in to the uh, graphics chip that allows for that to happen. But yeah. There were tons and tons of things that made the N64 crazy good. And then I feel like, for whatever reason, they're like, let's skimp on the RAM. But like, I think it has four megabytes. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, now obviously sounds like nothing. But at the time, it was like very low-end anything that's had four megabytes, even still. It'd be like if they released the PS5 and they were like, we got two gigabytes of GDDR5. People are like, oh, man. Eight, you know, mm -hmm. it would just—it made no sense. But I think they were just kind of like I don't know. I think Nintendo at the time was overconfident. I don't know, but we have hit the wrapping up point. Yeah, so, yeah. With that being said, thanks for watching. Enjoy yourself. And we'll uh, see you next time. Don't drink too much alcohol. Sure. Don't drink too much alcohol. Or do. You know, we're not your parents. Drink just enough. No, drink just enough alcohol. Um, I'm not going to tell you what just enough is. It's different for everyone. Okay, great. Bye. All right. Happy days. <laughs>